What's happening guys? Welcome back to Digging with Jason. I'm Jason and today I'm going to show you a little hack that I discovered about the GP pointer. But before I get into that, if you haven't done it yet, please hit that subscribe button and give this video a like. Also, ring that notification bell. It's going to give you a notification every time I post a video. So let's get into it right now. All right, so a few weeks ago, uh, I had a video where I just got this GP pointer and um, I told everybody that I was gonna make a video and show you a hack of how to improve your, your pointer. So um, here's the thing, GP pointers, good, bad. There's lots of reviews on YouTube for them. You can go and check those out. They're not gonna be at the top of the line uh, pointer, but if you're a beginner like me, um, I think it's totally worth it to be honest with you. It helps out dramatically. Now, not every GP pointer works the same. This one is actually better than this one, uh, if you can believe that or not. It's louder, the vibration is more, um, and it, it goes about a half inch, it's got about a half inch more reach on the sensor than, than this one does. So that brings me to, uh, the point of this video. So what I found out about this one was that uh, I was messing around and I was taking uh, a piece of metal and I was testing it and I was putting it here on the tip and I would have to get literally about a half inch close to it before it would start beeping slowly because you all know that they, they beep slowly and then they go faster. Right? Okay. So I had to literally get right about here before it would start beeping slowly. So then uh, what I was doing was, you know, I was testing it on the sides and what I was doing, I went like this on the side and I, I moved it closer. So as I was moving it on down the edge of the stick, it started beeping faster. So I thought that was odd. So what I did was I took a flashlight. Now this one's blue and it's not gonna work with all of them. Like I have a black one here and, and the light is not gonna shine through it. Okay, but what I did was I took a flashlight and I put it on the end of the stick and I could actually see the light coming through right here, about a half inch down. So that told me that the sensor was not down here in the tip, it actually started right here. So here's what you guys can do to improve the distance on your, your GP pointer if you have the same problem. Super easy fix, you don't have to take it apart or anything. All right, so here's what you do have to do. You have to take the, the rubber switch off. And again, as far as these things being waterproof, I, I wouldn't trust it. Because after you take the switch off, you're gonna see that it's just a, a piece of rubber. There's no, there's no fine, I'll, I'll just go ahead and take it off. There's no real smooth edge here. Uh, in order for the, the grommet to keep water out, my grommet is actually torn in a couple spots in the little groove right here. Plus, this GP pointer did not come with the rubber grommet right here. Okay, now my black one does have a rubber grommet on it, but this one didn't. So just be careful, don't, don't trust the waterproof thing. All right, so once you have the, the switch cover off, uh, what you're gonna wanna do is, what I did was I got this uh, long piece of wire right here and I kind of bent it up just a little bit. So the wire's flexible, but it's also really sturdy, okay? So then, what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna take it and insert it just, let me see if I can get that a little better, just to the side of the switch like that and push it forward and you're gonna feel it touch the sensor just like that, you can hear it. Then you're gonna to wanna to push that sensor all the way to the nose. And that's it. Take that out, put your uh, switch cover back on, and you're ready to go. Now, disclaimer, if any of you guys decide to try this and you break your pointer, I am not responsible for anything you did because these switches right here are pretty flimsy. Now it comes in three pieces. If you do pop it out, there's the, the white part here, there's a little gray cover, and then there's a spring inside. 
So just make sure you have all those pieces and you should be able to get the switch back on. Just be careful when you do it. Again, I'm not responsible if you break it. But once I did that, and I'll show you, it dramatically, instead of the half inch that I had before, I gained an inch and a half on it. So guys, that's it. That's what I got for you. Uh, if you have a GP pointer, give it a shot. Check it out first, see if the sensor's pushed all the way down. And I'm gonna see you guys next time. So please don't forget to smash that subscribe button and give this video a like. And I'm gonna see you all on the next dig.